Hey guys, I'm just gonna show you today how to use Wellmans in uh, SolidWorks. Um, so I start off by uh, opening a new part in SolidWorks, and uh, sometimes uh, this Wellmans option is not showing up here. So what you have to do is right click and uh, select on the Wellmans option here. So I start off by um, drawing a 3D sketch. Uh, I said today I'm just going to draw a table. Uh, so, so I want to show you guys how to use Wellman. So I'm just going to choose something simple like a table uh, and the four legs up. And with the dimensions, I'm going to give uh, uh, around. 900 millimeters here yeah. and about um, 600 millimeters on on the sides uh, with the legs I would be around uh, another 600 or 650 mils So the legs I can do is make it equal and same with here. I can do is uh, make it parallel and equal as well. Click OK and uh, same with the uh, those sides make parallel, parallel and equal. Just with the legs, I'm just gonna make it around uh, 500 actually. Uh, 500 mils. Okay, so I'm and I'm not gonna define everything here. Um, so I'm just gonna start off uh, with um, adding the structural members to the table so I start off by uh, probably doing the legs or the, the top surface so I'm gonna select ISO square tube and with the size I'm gonna go with the first option uh, and all you have to do is select this frame here just like that and click, click OK and with the legs uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the pipes and again, I'm going to go with the first option here. Uh, select all the four legs here. And press OK. Now, uh, one of the key issues is like you can't, you can, as you can see, it's not aligned properly in the corners here. So, to fix that, one of the, there's a few options. Uh, uh, one is to go to edit feature and select locate profile and fix it up from there which is uh, which you can use as well but in this case I'm gonna uh, use the trim extent feature here and then uh, select the end this one here end but uh, end but two uh, and bodies to be trimmed I'm gonna select this uh, pole here and trimming boundary uh, I'm gonna select uh, this pole here. So you have to go one by one. Uh, it's gonna be a bit time consuming, but uh, uh, it'll give you a good result. Though that's the thing. So I'm just gonna uh, do that to all the four legs. So as you can see, uh, now this end is actually fitted quite nicely. So do that to all the four corners uh, uh, with the trim feature. So as you can see now it's all done, all the four corners fitting quite nicely. Um, so some other features that we could use on uh, this table would be the weld bead uh, so it just gives, gives uh, you a clear idea where the uh, 
welding the bead is gonna be so for the select weld path and, uh, and then select these corners here where you will most probably uh, most probably have a weld path as well so yeah i'll just show you like one corner so just like your as you can see it gives you a clear idea where the weld path is it's from there so you can do that for all four corners if you want so i'm just gonna you know, finish up from that over there so another thing you can use on mailman's is this end cap so if, especially if you're like designing a table or something you can use it on the uh, top surface as well as the uh, uh, bottom surface as well uh, so i'm just going to use it on this uh, top surface here first uh, so select here uh, and let's go see else on there and make sure you select the uh, outward option uh, also what you can do is instead of going one by one uh, you can just select all the four corners at once so make sure you select the parameters option and uh, press control and select all the four corners here And, uh, press enter if you want you can increase the height as well over here so I've done given five millimeters probably go 10 and press ok so something like that and also at the bottom as well you can do the same thing go and cap select the invert option here in this case Select uh, uh, that option there. Probably go by there, 10 minutes there as well. And make sure you select all the four uh, surfaces all at once. okay and yeah, as you can see you get the end cap over there all right so that's how we use the uh, some of the features in Wellmans. Uh, so the key thing is using structural member and uh, you know applying it to various uh, different surfaces uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll be making some more uh, SOLIDWORKS videos in the coming weeks uh, so just make sure you subscribe to my channel.